What's going on fam? So today we're doing a really short video. Uh, we're on a mission actually. All for Sakura here. We're on our way to uh, Moto Zone. And we're going to be picking up a couple of things. So we're going to be replacing the rear tire. Which is my number one concern because... Uh, if you just take a moment to look at it, I might put a picture up on the on the screen. If you just look at it, you can just see all of the wires <laughs> that line the middle of the tire, which is horrible. I, I just took a trip to Julian uh, yesterday, two days ago, and it was comp yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, and it was completely uh, destroyed on that trip. You know, lots of curvies, lots of speed. It was really fun but it was absolutely destroyed and we're also going to be changing out the battery because we're having a lot of problems trying to make the bike stay on uh, after we start it up so if we don't let the bike warm up properly and we just go ahead and take off and we don't let the uh, battery charge up for a couple of minutes it will die if you just decide to launch cold start launch you know it will die on you in a couple of feet so we're gonna do that and lastly hopefully we'll be able to go ahead and uh, fix my running lights and my high beams because none of them work <laughs> so I don't know if that has to do with the battery that I have or that has to do with the bulbs because because I'm not the first owner on this bike I'm actually the nice I'm the second one and the guy told me that he had done a lot of work with the front lights and he messed with them and they weren't perfect to his liking so he just left it as what as, as it was it's still good it's not cold it's not raining just yet which is fantastic for me and it died you see that the bike died i didn't stall it i wasn't even moving it the clutch was held in <laughs> i was pushing it with my feet so that's an example you know so not only do i not want it to die on the highway but i also don't want the rear tire going out on me on the highway which is why i'm taking the roads today i've never ridden in the rain either so that's going to be a, a whole nother experience oh and i just got look at that as soon as i said that i just got smacked by some rain droplets in the visor pretty heavy rain actually like like big drops Obviously, it's not raining a lot, not yet. You can kind of see the rain coming down over there in the distance. But as for me, we're all right so far. All right, here we go. We made it. Mudo zone. Let's see what they tell us. Four hours later, here we are. It took them four hours to do all of that. One of my bulbs worked, the other one doesn't. But what can I do about that? No way I was going to wait there for the four hours. So I decided to walk over to Isa's uh, work where I was able to take her car, go do some errands, wait at the apartment, then come back, pick her up now that she's out. And then we stopped by and I picked up Sakura. So I'm happy about that. Uh, it didn't rain, thankfully. It only came down when I dropped the bike off earlier and she's doing a U-turn. Oh, that's right, because we're going to take the 15. That is right. Oh, and it died. Oh no. So what happened there? What what happened? It just died. It could be my clutch cable maybe, something to do with the clutch. It just kind of died on me. I don't know. Can we see Vincent? Hi Vince! Hi puppy, I see you. Hi papas. How are you? Good boy. <laughs> oh, I love that little pug. Alright y'all, so it's been a good time talking to you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little vlog. We're going to start heading back home, so I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.